the Kira, he was 19 years of age. Very loving. I don't know, like, he was just different from the rest. He was very contented. Any little small thing, he would just accept. Nothing won't bother him. Very peaceful. That was the voice of Titika Gritton, the sister of Dakira Gritton, who died in the horrific accident on Homestretch Avenue on Sunday last. She spoke with the newsroom on Monday, just after she collected the results of her brother's post-mortem, which stated that the 19-year-old died from internal injuries. Datika recalled their final interaction before Dakira left to attend a barbecue in South Rhineville, Georgetown. He was seeking her approval of his outfit. Well, I was away in Barbies for last week, the entire of the last week, and I came home Saturday. When I came home Saturday, he's the one that opened the door for me after one o'clock. So the night time, I bed and I went to bed. I was just lying there on my phone. And he came and he knocked at my door and he was like, um, Tika, I would like to see your face. I want to ask you something. And he was trying to put on my bedroom light. And I was like, if you want to ask me something, you don't have to put on the bedroom light. Here, you know, I want to see your face, man. So when he do get the bedroom light on, he came at my bedside and he was like, um, Tika, how I look? Tell me how I look, man. And I was like, you look good, you look good, man. You could pass. And he walked out of the bedroom and forgot to take off the lights. I called him back and I tell him, take off the lights for me, man. And that was it. Tika shared that if she knew that was the last moment she would have seen her brother, she would have hugged him. Tragically, early Sunday morning, her mother received a call that would change their lives forever. Around 1.19 a.m. Sunday morning, one of his friends called my mother's phone. And I heard my mother was like, um, Ma, was chopping us? You really telling me bye? Because she thought it was a boy called her, which was a girl. So she was like, um, what's chopping us? You really telling me, man? Don't give me this news now. Don't tell me this now. So she threw the phone to my father and said, look, answer and see what um, the boy really saying. So she came outside screaming. And I run outside and I said, Mom, what is it? What is it? She said, oh, somebody just called and said that the Kira died. He's on home stretch. They're dead. I was so shocked, I, didn't, I don't know, my brains got so mixed up, I couldn't find clothes nor nothing. But my father, he just put on his clothes and run out the house. And I put on a skirt and a um, hoodie, and I run out the house behind him, him as well, because my mother couldn't go at that scene to see that. So I had to be there to support her. Details of the accident garnered from the police report state that the motor car was proceeding west in the northern direction of Homestretch Avenue at a fast rate when the driver lost control and crashed into a utility pole. The motor car toppled several times and ended up in a trench. All occupants were removed from the vehicle and taken to the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation, GPHC, with the help of public spirited citizens. The Kira Gritton was pronounced dead and Tanika Hawley succumbed to her injuries while receiving medical attention. The other persons received injuries to various parts of their bodies and were admitted to the GPHC. Troy Glenn and Delvern Luthers remain hospitalized, whilst Joel Rose was discharged on Sunday. The Kira leaves to mourn his mother, father, and two sisters. Tell you the honest truth, it's only three of us. My other sister, the cure was the only boy. Only 19, started working the other day. He was now trying to get something done for himself. And to know that he's now trying to make his parents proud and this happen, like, I don't know what to say. My mother, she's restless right now. If somebody's not with her, she's gonna keep crying all the time. And my father, I would say he's very strong because to know that your only son died and you went there to see how he was lying on that ground and thing, I praise that man. A breathalyzer was administered on a 19-year-old driver of the car and no trace of alcohol was found. The driver, who was not named in the police report, is assisting police with investigations. This is Daniel Swain reporting for the newsroom.